This month, General Motors is celebrating an important milestone in fuel economy. In response to the oil embargo of the 1970s and the introduction of federal fuel economy standards, GM built the world's largest wind tunnel dedicated to the design of automobiles. And for its 30th anniversary, we got to see how it works. The wind tunnel is a large closed loop tunnel, which means that the air continually recirculates. It's powered by a 4,500 horsepower fan that's 43 feet in diameter and it can generate speeds up to 138 miles per hour here in the test section. Engineers say there are three ways to improve a vehicle's gas mileage. Reduce its weight, increase the efficiency of the powertrain, and improve the aerodynamics. GM credits the work done here with improving the aerodynamics of its passenger cars by 25 percent. The wind tunnel was originally built for developing the aerodynamic shapes of our vehicles, and since it was built, we've also started working on wind noise reduction to make it quieter for people inside the vehicle. And we also measure the airflow through the front of the vehicle, which affects both the engine cooling and the air conditioning performance. One of the latest advances from work done here will soon be available in the new 2011 Chevrolet Cruze Eco. We have an uh, innovative feature in this lower grill opening, which is an active grill louver system, which opens and closes based on engine cooling needs and when it is closed it provides a drag optimized solution and lowers the overall drag of the vehicle significantly for improved highway fuel economy. This is the first application of the active shutter system on a compact car. It should help increase a vehicle's aerodynamic efficiency by 10 percent and will help this cruise eco achieve an expected 40 miles to the gallon on the highway. I'm Chris Hansen.